Hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Um, Paris is doing back. a little. I'm back. I'm back. I'm, I'm back. back. I'm back. Did y'all <laughs> miss me? We sure did. <laughs> It's not the same. It's not the same, Perry. That without I was, I was sick. But we held it together. We held we did. down the fort. I hear y'all did more than hold it together. I hear y'all were doing all sorts of kinds of fun shenanigans. Had Jacob doing the bus man reviews. <laughs> My T God. Well, we got the show must go on, I suppose. So hello. Welcome to the show tonight, everybody. Hey Juanita. Good to Hi, see you. Juanita. All right, Rachel, would you like to welcome our guests to the show? Well, which guests? Our visual our, guests? Our audience. Our no, oh, our, oh. Paul is uh, too quick on the trigger on that one. Uh, our, our, <laughs> welcome our audience to the show. Well, I'm Rachel, oh, Paris, you didn't do your jingle. That's yes. what happened. Okay, That's okay, okay, so okay, okay. Well, the hey, last Danita. time I did it. You made it, lady. Okay, are you guys ready for the jingle? Yeah. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're ready. Welcome to the Christian Anything Show, where anything can happen as long as it's Christian. The Christian Anything Show. Whoa. <laughs> she takes her inspiration from one of the classics of modern television, Blue's Clues. <laughs> it's the truth. That's the truth. Um, yes. Yeah, we're welcome to Honestly, the show. Honestly, it's all that era of Disney. Like, the yes. Bear in the Big Blue House, Blue's Clues, yes. all of it. <laughs> That's what you get here as a Christian Anything show. Anything. <laughs> anything at all. <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh. Yeah, we try to be serious some of the time, but a lot of time we're just silly. So, but. Yeah. The tagline is, it's. Always, Always a, a good, good time. time. There we go. If you note the confusion on our faces, <laughs> it is because we have, as you guys know, an intro that we wrote out to get the show rolling, and we just completely steamrolled over it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite work out on time tonight. <laughs> but it's, but it's while right. we wait, because we're about to intro our special guest for the evening, although if you follow us on social media, it's no surprise who we were talking to. Before we get there, we have a couple of things we wanted to tell you. First of all, welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Virginia. Yep. And this is Rachel. Yeah. And this is, I was waiting for you to say something. <laughs> and that's Paris. And we come on here every Monday nights to goof off and just have some fun. Yep. And uh, yeah, hello. Hello. Yep. If you're on Facebook, uh, welcome. Uh, if you want to head over to YouTube, which is where most of our, you know, Oh, action yeah. happens. Action <laughs> happens. That's um, at the sevenfold on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And a cough, awkward, cough, Paris. It's your turn. <laughs> awkward silence. Oh wow! <laughs> and also, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible podcast is in full swing. <laughs> Hope you checked out the episode that released today, Bye. and and oh, that releases tomorrow. <laughs> That's one of the things on my to-do list that did not get to done. That's what I'm we saying. We <laughs> just, we're going to pretend like it was released today and then I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Where it will be released. <laughs> and we're so excited. And it's okay because stuff happens. That's Sometimes right. we're late, but we're still here because we love you guys. Also. And the thing is, is that while things often go off the rails, we usually talk about it on Instagram and Facebook first. So if you want to keep up to date with what we have, like up to the minute, Facebook and Instagram, our handle is at The Sevenfold Ministries. So definitely go hang out over there. Give us a yeah. like, follow and a subscribe and all the things because we want to be your friend. Yeah. And if you are subscribed and you like and you do the, lo the little bell, um, you would know that, um, get the alert that Life for Your Soul episode drops tomorrow too. Oh, that's right. Yep, episode 54. How to do. Also, as a reminder, we threw in a little bonus episode. We have our Rhema conversations, which are our, like, extra super fun extra, episodes extra. that are we, uh, we release it. on a Friday, usually about once a month. And we just dropped one last Friday with Paris. Yes. So you your favorite seen, me. Yeah, your favorite <laughs> If you all haven't seen that one, go over and check it out. It's a really it good conversation. It was really good that we had that con – I mean, like, it was a good conversation. We talked about a lot of stuff about growth, 
specifically personal revelations of the Lord. Yeah, what yeah. it means to be saved again, 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 again. And, again, and, and almost again. all of the <laughs> shorts and reels that you've been seeing coming out lately are from that episode. So there you go. Go check it yeah. out. Well, right. let's cut to the chase. We have a very fun, exciting guest with us in the studio. And we're so excited. Go ahead, Perry. It's Aurelia. Yay. Hey, y'all. Hey, wait, you didn't do it. You got to hold it. You got to hold, hold it. Yeah, it's Aurelia. Woo! Hey, do it for everybody oh. but me. <laughs> okay. That's all right. It's hey, okay. y'all. We've been practicing a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's a little like hold and freeze. And holding. Right, yeah, you got to gotta wait for it. Wait for it. Yay! Oh! Okay. <laughs> welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome. If you guys are in the chat right now and you love Aurelia so much, which I know you do, go ahead and text somebody right now and say, get on the Sevenfold YouTube and get over here and hang out with us. That's what we should all do get right now. Own it. My mom is already on. Hey, mom. Yes, yeah, she <laughs> is. Oh, hi, mom. <laughs> is that Miss Tony? Yep. Hi, yes. Miss Tony. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay Roxy's on. Hey, girl. Facebook. Hey, Roxy. Hey. Roxy was on the other week. So, mm-hmm. yep. We're getting all our all our uh, friends that we can uh, sucker into this <laughs> <laughs> to come on the show. <laughs> I'm not being her fan because she's my fan. <laughs> oh, okay. We're not going to do that, but okay. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it cute. I'm going to keep it cute. I'm not even going to do that. Listen, listen. I don't know All what right. I'm going to say, but. So, Raylia, <laughs> she's awesome. Uh, we know her through our church, our local church. Um, I've known, been around Raylia for a while, right? Mm-hmm. 2018. Wow. Yes, 2018. <laughs> really? You two? Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. yes. When did so you on come? And off. Uh, June. June Ooh. 2018. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's Today, cool. for those of you who don't know, is my save diversary. It's my six year save diversary. Yay. And she I the joined good Lord Jesus. At our local ago. church. We all go to church together. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I came March 18th of 2018. So that's so exciting. 2018 crew. <laughs> I'm gonna need a diploma or something. Like, just put a me up on ceremony. stage. Yes, we need yeah. like a graduate. <laughs> like four people who joined us way back in the theater. Mm-hmm. That's so um, funny. I did get. I was working at. Um, maybe I shouldn't say where I was working at. I was working at a <laughs> retail corporation for eleven years. And when I went to the like you know the yearly corporate gathering, they gave me an award. And I was there longer than probably most of the everybody, managers, district managers, <laughs> corporate heads. I was there longer than everybody. I was like, this is either a good thing or a very bad thing. Um, but and yeah. she did all of that. I did get a certificate that my boss took home with him and I never saw it again. <laughs> oh. oh, that's, that's so wrong. funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his As fault. my dad would say, you got robbed. <laughs> you got robbed. Um, well, Aurelia, she has a lot of fun side gigs going on. Also, mm-hmm. we love Aurelia because she's a fellow podcaster. Yes. I yes. Know. And yep, we yep. love her podcast, especially because your podcast title was definitely something that we thought about when we were naming our segment <laughs> of the show. And we'll have, we have time for shenanigans. We're like, well, we have to make it a little bit different. <laughs> we can't <laughs> copy Aurelia. can't copy <laughs> Aurelia. <laughs> Uh, tell us about your podcast. Well, the podcast name is All the Shenans, and I just talk about all the shenans of my life, dating, mommyhood, all the things. So Fun stories. Yes, all the things that happen. Yep. It's great, too. Mm-hmm. It's a great podcast. I started listening to the newer episodes that you had that came out, but I listened to a bunch of your old ones, uh, and they're so good. I just love it's like we're it's like hanging out with you. Right? I'm told I'm a good storyteller. Yeah. yeah. I don't yep. know. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, you're also a good cook. I and I am. Yes. And She's is like a local mm-hmm. chef celebrity I, with our Ruth. peeps at church. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> All the parties, any party somebody has, right. it's oh, who's making the food? Aurelia? Oh yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Like it's a it's a thing. Yeah. I can get yep. down in the kitchen a little bit. Yes, you I'm can. still, man, 
it's been I sw- okay. Are you gonna talk about that chicken? Yes. Oh because my god. Because that chicken <laughs> has been on my mind. I threw a twenty fifth birthday party when I was twenty five. And no, really? Oh, when you were twenty five? Not when you were twenty four. <laughs> That was so funny. <laughs> and it took me, like, you could see my mind, like. <laughs> On the day that I turned 25, I celebrated it by having a birthday party that I had planned. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> for my 25th birthday party, or for my 25th birthday, I threw myself a birthday party. And Aurelia had, first of all, I had Roxy as my party planner, which she was the best party planner. I'm really sad that she doesn't do party planning anymore. Um, But Aurelia made these chicken wings that were, first of all, they were giant. I don't even know (laughs) what chicken she got them from. They were big. They were juicy. (laughs) They were so good. (laughs) I had like three or four of them. And then I've still, it's been three years and I'm still asking her. When I, when can I convince you to make me some more of them chicken wings? I just want to know. I honestly don't even remember the type of chicken wing that I made. <laughs> hey, was it fried? Was it baked? I think they were baked, but they oh, were okay. so they were juicy. marinated, right? Okay. I don't know. They were good. Okay. But we'll have to figure They were the biggest. <laughs> I don't even know if they were f- chicken wings. They could have been turkey Listen, wings, but they the were the way so they be good. putting steroids in food. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure it was still good. That's why we pray over our food in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> so Jacob's gotten into the habit of breaking the curses off of our food when we get takeout and stuff. My my kids just like hear it, right? They just hear it all the time. So they just repeat whatever they hear. So I was making dinner one night and I was like, now you watch them out. And they'll be breaking no curses off of this food. I'm like I made it. <laughs> oh, it's funny. So what you're trying to say is that the chicken <coughs> you got belonged, like, came from Jurassic Park or something like that. It, seems like. it was real good. The mac and was, cheese was, was good. It was Philistine chicken. <laughs> I don't know what was in the chicken. Oh, oh my goodness. As long as they tasted good. Listen, okay. I grew up with juice, so, like, anytime I can get, like, soul food that's not, like, juice food. we can all hear that. Jew thing. food. But that's that sounds so terrible. But like you know what I mean. Like, good, never. I'm gonna stop talking. There's okay, no way to recover note, this. Let's vote. Who wants to vote? Is St. Patrick's Day a real holiday or not? Is that yes, something it is. we should celebrate in the U.S.? Um, yes, it is. Or no. Nah. St. Patrick's Day Who is absolutely Day? a real holiday. First of all, I'm half Irish, so I'm offended. Second of all. <laughs> It is a real holiday. Drinking a bunch of beer and doing stupid stuff, that's not a holiday, okay? That's not what St. Patrick's is about. Nothing with leprechauns and pots of gold, that ain't what St. Patrick's Day is about, okay? That's all fake. That's Americanized, commercialized (laughs) crud, okay? Crud. Crud. That's a good word. That's a great word. Debris, all right? (laughs) Debris. Debris. But St. Patrick was a really awesome dude. He really was. He was sainted. So like in the Catholic Church, you don't get to be a saint. Half like 50%. Yes, ma'am. I am 50% Irish. That's right. <laughs> five zero. Um, yeah. The, uh, but he was sainted. And the Catholic Church takes sainthood mm-hmm. like Wasn't really seriously. He... So they have like designated, like they have to have like a certain number of like documented miracles to even become a saint. And one of them, he performed a miracle, many miracles, but he performed a huge miracle in Ireland, which is ultimately why we celebrate St. Patrick's Day is because the miracles of the Lord. Come also, on now. He drove all the used to, he, I would have never The reason known. why we do uh, three leaf clovers is because he taught the Trinity via a three leaf clover. Huh. Like that he used like the, the three leaf closer as a representation oh. for the Trinity. It is three, mm. but it is one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I can see that. Yeah, I can see he that. Was, but yeah. He was sold in slavery in Ireland when he was able to leave Ireland. He felt the call to go back as a missionary. So he actually got out and then went back. Y'all yeah. are teaching me. Okay. Yeah. There was like a, for some reason, Ireland was like overrun with snakes and they, it was like really a terrible problem. And he literally like drove out all of the snakes off of Ireland and Ireland's an island. So it's kind of like, snakes. yeah, like it's a big Damn deal. Like you didn't have anywhere to go. So the fact that all these, like the Lord <laughs> drove out all these snakes, it was a miracle. It was really cool. It's for American Irish just to drink, drink, drink and drink some more. Yes, it's true. 
It is um, true. I but, have been one of those people who, when I worked retail, got caught without wearing green, and everyone kept pinching me, so I went to the Hallmark next door on my lunch break to buy something green. <laughs> Fun fact, I used to work at a Hallmark. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's, it, it is, it, there's, okay, let's be real. There's commercialized things for a lot of holidays, but St. Patrick's Day, like outside of Christmas and Easter, or not even Easter, but like resurrection, there's not that many holidays that people celebrate that actually have any kind of God basis in them. True. So, True. That. I think St. Patrick's Day is pretty cool. Yep. I just want to go to Ireland. I'm, I'm apparently now going to be jealous of Ashley Turner because apparently she went to Ireland, she said in the comments. Oh, oh nine. Wow. Uh, yeah, we to have go to go. So bad. I'm so Listen, bad. we're going to at least Listen, go to Scotland, if nothing if else. If you're 50% Ireland, Irish, you and I might be related <laughs> because I am 15% Irish, and I can prove that via my DNA. I used to, like, honestly, you guys have no idea how excited, like, excited I felt when I got my DNA test, and it was like, yeah, you're 15% Caucasian. And I'm like, that's what I've been told my whole life. And nobody would believe me. I would tell people I was Irish, and they would be like, um, Paris. You don't have to be hate... white to be Irish. You don't have to be white to be Irish. There are black Irish. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> my well, God. We know my that. God. But that you know was what, Miss Juanita? Thing. I'm with you. Except it wasn't they wouldn't get punched. They, you know, someone pinched well, me. The they're going to get an elbow. <laughs> Like they, they go and get it's just literally like I would get nonstop comments all day long working retail when people yes. are like, oh, you're not wearing green. Yes. <laughs> I would just tell people, you don't see all of my clothes. I could be wearing green elsewhere. And yeah, that'll shut down a conversation real fast. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was not for mm -hmm. me. <laughs> I've had a lot of people do a lot of strange things at my job. I've had people try to smell me. I had people try to I'm touch what? my hair. <laughs> I had oh, what? I smell Okay. I had really nerdy Wait, guys what? hit on me because I was just being nice to them, helping them pick out Girl. the product they were trying to buy. Been there. You were doing your job? I was doing my job. <laughs> and because I was friendly and smiling. Yo, you got to be careful it. in these streets, man. I used to work at the gym. You complimenting somebody just because, That's like, it. it's a good day. This, I, I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell the whole story. But at a gym, you know, you see people looking ragged. So there was a whole crew that would come in at 4 a.m., okay, at 4.30 in the morning. They would rag it. But they had to cut the workout in, and then they would go to work. So they would leave all dressed up in their work clothes. So for a lot of people, it was a stark difference between coming into the morning <laughs> to when they're leaving. So I remember this one dude was leaving, and I was like, wow, you look so good. Like, you know, have a great day. Full blown was like, so you want to go out? <laughs> you want to go somewhere? I'm like, I was. you just look good. You had a nice outfit. I'm just trying to be nice. Yeah. I have people try to hug me. I actually told somebody, I'm like, no touchy. I actually did that to somebody once. Like, no. no. You would. No touchy. No, no. touchy. Because, you know, you don't want to, like, yell at them or be super rude. And if you can keep it funny enough, but they know that you're yeah. serious and you're like, don't go there, dude. I'm, like, questioning my entire yeah. working relationship with Rachel now. <laughs> <laughs> no touchy. <laughs> Paris, the problem is, well, it was a good and a bad thing. Paris insisted on giving me five giant pick you up off the ground bear hugs a day. I, I was a little um, needy. A I straight up was like, if I don't get 12 a hugs needy. a day, um, something is wrong. And I would basically like force everybody I worked with to give me a hug. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, no. That that's really is trauma no. face. Yeah, no. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not a hugger, not for real. No, I hug my yeah. child. I hug my niece and my nephew. Yeah. Kids. But come on, man. We what about your kids. sister? I'm your mom? Him. Ask them. <laughs> <laughs> Ask them. <laughs> they don't like. They know me. I'm like, man. And they're like, all right, all right. But it. it mm. Oh, see, I I have a fellow non-hugger. Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna. I love, really gotta I'm gonna be. love you from afar, really. I'm <laughs> Rachel gives her. I would never there, force there. a hug. I'll give a My church love hug language that. is not forcing hugs on people. <laughs> so do you? I have don't any, like to uh, force hugs, but I love to. I love hugs. I was going to ask Aurelia, do you have any fun catering stories? Anything go wrong or any silly people yeah, or bad no. customers? Or Yeah, I've had a lot of things. Um, <sighs> let me think. There oh, was... hold on, Aurelia. Uh -oh. Your mom's calling you out. She says you only hug when you're in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I did that today. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> 
So my parents went on vacation and I <laughs> raided their pantry and ate my mom's junior mints. And oh. I told her that I would buy her more by the time that she came back. And they've been back for about a week now. And um, she was like, I still don't have my junior mints. And I was like, they are there. <laughs> oh. And I gave her forehead kisses. That makes up. Oh, okay. that's nice. AT's Did you hear you. that, Rachel? They're there. They're there. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> it's the comfort pack. Mm-hmm. She gets mad at me because when I hug, it's like, yeah, my, my, uh, like, my you dad's hug, family is I like, want, like a real hug. And Rachel gives like the, They're there. They're there. I could be crying. Mm-hmm. My dog died. There, there, there. Mm-hmm. Like she gives me the, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> okay. I hug sometimes. There's sometimes where I feel like, you know, I'll hug you, but it's mostly like, you know, yeah. I'd rather dap you up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I can respect that. I don't that. dap, but yeah, if I did dap, that's what I'd do instead of hug. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to teach Rachel how to dap up, and then <laughs> that'll be Rachel's love language. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh Listen, my secret handshake? You got to have friends for every no. season. I know, or for <laughs> like a reason. I know that if I need like a hug, hug, I'm going to Jenny and I'm going to be like, can I have a hug, please? And Sometimes she's you don't even have to friend. say anything. Yeah, no, you I just kind of stand. Just look on her face. I'm like, all right, come on. I stand in front of mm-hmm. her and I just. <laughs> well, also, you know, moms know. You know, moms just know sometimes. <laughs> you need a hug. Yeah, I just get awkward sometimes. I just be like, yeah. <laughs> well, now walk. I know because I'm a hugger, but like if you're not a hugger, I know that now about How you. How often do you have you hugged me? Every, like, I feel like when I see you, really? Maybe not. Maybe I'm being I polite. Always want, I always <laughs> want to hug you because I'm also I can't be polite. Like, hey girl, dad. I feel like that's I, I what want we do. to hug like, you every time I see like, you. Hey girl. Yeah. Whenever I see you at church, I always want to hug you. But now I know why the Holy yes. Spirit was like, Paris oh, gives the dog hugs. But her. no, but I'll I'll You're um I'll give it back. Okay. I'm not gonna be mean. I'm kind of nice, kind of. I just want to say that my dad spelled my name wrong. Oh, wow! I'm gonna blame. He said that's how I'm it's supposed blame to be spelled. Autocorrect prob- on that one. You was probably using yes. talk to text. Yes, <laughs> but I have been anti-hug. Because you never hugged them. Oh, <laughs> well. Then. Paul is feeling that came from a personal place, Paul. That's all you get from me. Yes. See, Juanita yeah. gives those mom hugs too. I do love a good Juanita yeah. hug. Oh my gosh. I do yes. love a good Juanita hug too. Juanita, Juanita she's got yes. puppy dog guys. Hug me. Yes. Hug yes. me, please. Hey, Paul, why don't you put the chats up on the Listen, I, I know where the moms are. I know how to get my mom hugs in if I need one. <laughs> my mom is so far away. Oh. I, can, I can go get my mom a hug if I need one. Oh, yeah. Lord. Disa truth. Okay. Well, Are we, we can follow something? the train of thought that I initiated with uh, Aurelia and any fun stories with our gatoring, but we can also switch subjects and go somewhere else. I that. do want to hear, do you have any like really like, just like, I don't know, stories you could share? About are, my catering? Yeah. Like any fun stories? Um, Sure. Or weird. Or like. Or like maybe somebody who's been like <gasps> messed really up. Strange, I don't Shocking. Know, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, drama. <laughs> I mean, there are, there is a lot of drama when it comes to, you know, <laughs> anything going on and dealing with certain people. But, I mean, eh. um, I do deal with a lot of they want to pay $200 for 100 people to eat. Like, come on, man. <laughs> oh, like, come on. And then, or, oh, I have an event next Saturday. Like, you're giving me a week to do an event for 100 people. I'm like, ah, that's, I'm okay. Um yeah, no. But I've had catered at some pretty cool places. I catered at the um, Embassy of Haiti. That Ooh, was pretty that's fun cool. for that's awesome. UDC. Um, I've done some proms, of course, weddings. Um, I'm trying to think. I I won for the greater, I won like, it was like a chef competition. Ooh. And it was for the Greater Washington Urban League. Um, oh, wow. I've That's won something exciting. at the Taste of Black DC, several chili competitions. Ooh, Ooh okay. Um, so you know I'm out okay. here. Listen, chili I'm with all beans for or a, without beans? A chili cook-off. with beans, girl. Okay. With beans, yes, yes, yes. If you have a good recipe for a beanless chili, send it over. <laughs> oh, you don't, don't like beans? Know. No, I, I love, I love, love beans. I love chili okay. in all the ways that it comes. But I'm okay. trying to get a good like beanless chili for like mm-hmm. chili dogs. 
Oh, we put the beans on the chili dogs too. Now I hear from my Texan <laughs> friends that if it's got beans in it, it's not chili. That's yeah. Okay. People, people get serious. About it's very that. regional. Chili is very regional. It sure like, is. Even barbecue, it's like barbecue sauce, because like yes. you got the golden mustard barbecue sauce, and from South Carolina and Georgia, you don't see that in North Carolina. North Carolina vinegar. New, new, new. I don't vinegar even know what sauce. Don't, don't care. Mustard North is. Carolina barbecue is the only barbecue I recognize, and you can fight me on that. Oh, you know okay, what? No, like Kansas City. Barbecue. Okay. I don't Jesus know what y'all city. talking about. I just know Sweet Baby Rays. So there's oh, that. There's no, that's that. good too. <laughs> yeah. That's good too. Mm-hmm. That's us. Oh, AT's on, on brand here. Okay, got, Chili. Tonight. Okay. But I do have to ask Chili. You know what? With we had Chili or dogs. Without? With Cornbread Girl, how? Like, yeah, yes. Come on. Yes. I know people who are like, no, without Cornbread. Yes. Tortilla chips or something. My mom used to, yes, used to do saltine crackers with butter. With mm-hmm. our chili. Oh, oh we, we, ha- we usually have ours over rice. It has like the beans and we do it over rice. With oh, okay. Rice. It's, that's kind of like a, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but like that Louisiana, Alabama area, right? Mm-hmm. They usually do chili and stuff like that over rice. No? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. No. Uh, yeah. We, it's funny. It's the chili dogs without beans, but cheese. Yes, Chanel. I My kids want chili dogs. So we're doing chili dogs tomorrow night. But tonight we did like a bake thing that had some chili in it. Chanel. Mm. Chili. Cornbread. No crackers. No crackers. No crackers. No crackers. Heck no, mm. and I'm crackers. Yeah, Just cornbread in no a cast iron no, pan. I'm with, I'm with Juanita on the sour cream. I put sour yes. cream on yes. Sour cream, especially if it's too spicy, it kind of calms it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so I want to have like a chili cook off because Don't do it. I make a good chili. Don't do it. Okay. I mean, Actually, listen, no, people get so yeah. mad and defensive. Do like, do don't be what? mad. You ask me and then I win. Come on. <laughs> like, don't be mad. Let's I'm do it. Right. Okay, I'm okay. Ready. I've I been told hold on. I'm such a It has to be blind. It has to be blind. We gotta, we I'm, gotta I'm ready. Okay. Let's go because Paris be pushing people all the time. Paris is like always trying to like have competitions with people. So like listen, I'm here I'm for it. I'm very much competitive. I'm here for it. And a little bit of a sore loser, but... Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. mom. Yes. See? Yes. If one person go hype me, it's gonna be my mama. That's right. <laughs> hey, you know I'm, I'm here for sweep it. in with the winning chili recipe. Y'all don't know what's up. I got but my sleeves. Got chili up in these sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told I'm a pretty good cook. You haven't had any of my food, so like you don't know. I haven't. It's no. it's okay. Uh, <sighs> Paris luckily, I will not luckily, blessedly, whatever yes, you want to say. I will say all beer. four ladies on this little t- screen you're look on, looking mm-hmm. at, we all can cook. Yes, yes we can. all of us. Wait, you can. Even <laughs> us light skinned people can <laughs> cook Listen, too. I love Girl, Miss Tony. She, she is staying in her <laughs> daughter. Mm-hmm. Okay, she I said, make I make cornbread in a cast iron skillet. <laughs> I don't use no cornbread mix. I make my cornbread from scratch in Period. cast iron in the oven. Period. Come get me. Mm hmm. I make the best steak you gonna have. Come on, mm-hmm. Paris I can't pasta. even say nothing because Paris is like, dang. I made oh, her steak one day. No, she he was didn't. Like, this is better than my steak. <laughs> oh, Paul <laughs> James. Let's see what he's gonna be eating the Paul next week. Lies. He's about to he not lies. have no food. Uh, Paul Nicholas. He'll be tomorrow. He Rachel, said, "JK, real quick." <laughs> he forgets who makes him his food. He forgot. Real quick. I know that's right, Miss Tony. <laughs> Standing on business. <laughs> <laughs> Ten toes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I will say it was interesting because um, our church is, I would say, has a mix of different races and ethnicities and countries and all that. But I would say it's predominantly black. Not, yeah, black. <laughs> not white. I'll say it. She, <laughs> if she don't want to yes. say it, I'll say it. So it's been interesting going to like parties or get togethers and me bringing food and everyone looking at me like with like, oh, this actually tastes good. <laughs> Paris has, came to my this house. This actually <laughs> has some spice to it. Paris came to my like house and opened up shocked. my spice drawer. I got a whole spice drawer with like rows of jars of spices. And she's like, oh my God, you like actually cook? I'm like, <laughs> oh. I think what it is, is they're responding. Okay, Midwestern white people food is ex- the like exact opposite of self food. It's like, listen, my daddy. So there is grow- a food divide there. I get it. Like, my daddy <laughs> raised me on like biscuits and gravy and like everything Southern. And he was like a whole chef, so I like you. Gonna you're not gonna catch me cooking with salt and pepper and calling that a day. Cause uh, yeah, cause in the Midwest Mm. everything's salad. If it's fruit and Jello, it's salad. If it's salad with lettuce, it's salad. If it's salad, ambrosia. I've heard of popcorn salad. Yeah, ambrosia. Yeah, it's all salad. What? Um, my grandmother used to make 
it, they actually use the old recipe. A lot, a lot of people heard of it. It's <gasps> a pear with cheese shrimp and lettuce. Is good. Mm -hmm. My dad's shrimp and it's a pear salad. Is bananas, man. Listen, I grew up with my mama, who is basically like, like she watches all of the shows. She goes to all of the Michelin restaurants. Like I'm, I'm used to a certain quality when it comes to food, and I'm convinced that see my how mama she got so quick. is the only white lady that knows how to cook. So when I see other white people that know how to cook, it just surprises me. You know what? That really makes me feel good because I, there have been at least three dishes that I've made that you're like, don't tell my mom, but this is better than hers. So now I feel good. Not you put. I don't have blast. to say that. My mom, she already know the deal because I learned it from my mom. Uh, uh, Ashley Turner mom. says, what y'all's must have spices ready to judge? Um, must and have? And salt and pepper don't count. If you say salt, pepper, and garlic, you're out. Okay, so, so okay. Pepper. In addition no, to salt, garlic, pepper, and garlic, that's, salt, pepper, and that's, garlic a, that's, a, that's a requirement. First yeah, of all, I'll true. get rid of pepper before I get rid of garlic. So, mm -hmm. like, let's be real about this. That's what garlic. I'm saying. Salt, pepper, garlic, they don't count because those okay. are your basics. Yes. Must have spices. I use mustard powder in a lot of things, and a lot of people don't really realize what mm -hmm. it does. Mustard powder. Because you think it's going to taste like, I don't know, like squirt mustard, and yeah, it doesn't. Like, it adds a lot to a lot of different dishes. Mm -hmm. um, nutmeg in small amounts is fun mm. to put in various things. Cinnamon and oh, can be put in a lot of various things that you wouldn't expect it to go in. Mm -hmm. um, allspice too. Is that is a, not my That's a secret part. one. Allspice, mm -hmm. yeah. Like anything, I, I have I have all my spices that are the basic for like the pumpkin spice, allspice, nutmeg, clove, <laughs> cinnamon. Those go in all sorts of stuff. And then you got your spicy stuff. <laughs> Paprika, gotta have paprika. Yes, paprika, paprika is yes. A, that's a must have. That it's a must have. Mm -hmm. yes. I would yes. say like top must haves, and at least in my like general cooking, um, outside of salt, pepper, and garlic because they don't count. I'm waiting. Come paprika, on. Paprika, mm -hmm. mustard, uh, ground mustard, mm -hmm. onion. Depending if I don't want to cut an onion because <laughs> no, you use both. You it's use, yes, it's onion depends. and onion powder. You use garlic and garlic powder. That's right. Amen. Okay. Period. And onion okay. and onion powder. I can because mm -hmm. I, I, I will double up on garlic. I don't always double up on onion powder. Mm -hmm. um, rosemary and thyme. It depend. I'll use some I herbs to send. Depending. I love rosemary. But oh. see, I love all the herbs. So then I describe it in my Italian seasoning because that has all the herbs in it. So basically um, we were saying I make a homemade a Cajun seasoning that mm -hmm. has no salt in it. Yeah. I like to control my salt content, mm -hmm. which is real good. That'll be tasting. Had my chicken taste like yeah. andouille sausage. Mm -hmm. First of all, my salt comes from salt mines. I, I spend money on my salt. Get the best salt. Yeah. The only thing I'm not partial to that a lot of people love is I do not like curry. I don't like oh, curry I, love I don't do curry just, powder, I'm but I do cumin. Powder. I love curry. Cumin powder. is a secret. Yeah. Is a little it is, secret. It is uh, a good little thing, especially mm -hmm. on ribs. Mm -hmm. Girl, majorum. <laughs> majorum. Yes. I love it, man. I use all my spices. Onion. Oregano. The only time I won't use onion powder with fresh onion is if I'm grating a fresh onion. If you grate a raw onion, then it's mm. like a whole nother level. Yeah, it's real it's, good. Yeah. Uh, Chanel tip: Put your cinnamon all space in your spaghetti sauce. Wait, yeah, what? you gotta you gotta be Cinnamon real careful with that. You gotta be real. Wait, what did you just say? She just put all spice mm -mm. in her spaghetti. Mm -mm. Spice. No, no, no. Okay. I don't play you that game. All spice. If you cook meat, if you cook hamburger meat or any kind of meat, you can put all spice in there. And then cinnamon goes well in tomato dishes. You wouldn't know that. Normally. Yeah, I mean, lots of Indian you cooking measure it a little put bit. cinnamon and allspice or nutmeg in their savory dishes. You but that's why it has that distinct flavor to their foods. It they do. It goes good in a lot of No, do I'm it. sorry, Jenny. I'm stuck on the a little because I've had your spaghetti. Yeah. Did you taste the cinnamon? No. That's why I'm looking well, at I her sometimes like... make it in, with it and sometimes oh, I don't. Okay. Listen, listen. So the time that you had it, I guess special you thing. Have I'm the cinnamon. But okay. it's real good in lasagna. Yeah. I don't play yes, around Yes, Chanel my is sauce. correct. So, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. spaghetti. They probably, I use all of them. You gotta be judicious with the cinnamon. You can't go crazy with it. Well, I should it probably go really look downstairs. All my all the my spices that are out, I have them flipped upside down when they go out. So like my smoke my smoke paprika is gone, <laughs> my onions gone. I got like I don't know all of them. There's a million. I use them all every day. I use like dill, thyme, oregano, Italian Ooh. seasoning, basil. I have all the Italian yes. seasoning separated out because I like them in different proportions. I have mm -hmm. the blend and the then time. the individual. I like making my own blend. I have I like, like four different, yes. I got like mm -hmm. chipotle chili powder, regular chili mm -hmm. powder, ancho chili powder. 
Yep. Two different smoked paprikas and yeah. paprika. I got smoked dry salt. So I could uh, mm. ground my own because I have um, my chili, my white chicken chili recipe calls for ancho chili powder. So I ground my own mm. ancho chili powder because I just okay. think it's fresher. Okay. It's good. Yeah. Jacob, what's my top spice? <laughs> Oh, you are. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I know Nick, that's right. I'll put you in every meal, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at he's on cue. He's bringing me a cup of tea. Amen. My cup. Weekly what meal are... staples for your family. I didn't even answer oh. what, what was my favorite spice. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. What is that's your favorite spice? I'm not even letting her talk. <laughs> it's so no, sorry. it's okay. I'm still enjoying the scene. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tony Satcheries, okay? Yeah, mm. Tony Ch Ch Cherries. Come That's on. Good. Tony's yes. Lori's so good. Seasoned salt. Like, if you don't have spices, like, I just have it in there. Oh, I'm out of this. I'm out of salt. Mm -hmm. Put some Lori's Lori, on that yep. thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, even if you don't use That's it all the time. That's a little old school. I like it. Yeah, yeah, you just keep it in the cabinet. Yes. Just in case. I like that with Old Bay. Mm -hmm. I love Old Bay. That's another staple from it's mm -hmm. right on the top. Oh, babe. Mm -hmm. You know what? If I have making something that needs a little kick, I will use um, like blackened seasoning a lot. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Slap your like... mama? No, you know, I don't, haven't found a good one. I haven't tried that one, but I just get like a ring. Like I a have slappy mama. Thing. I have a good slappy <laughs> mama. That's my, uh... Mm-hmm. What's not bringing right? it to people's houses. Um, Look, because not everybody's seasoning. I put okay. Worcestershire. Mm -hmm. W sauce? Worcestershire. 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 She's going to say it. She's going to say it. Worcestershire. Wrong every time. Oh, my goodness. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. As husband brings this, it's by Stuart's As you should. Sometimes. I'll fix it. Just keep it in your pocket and you just taste mm -hmm. the food, you just like sneak it night. on in and, and sneak. Oh, man. Somebody had a, there do was that a was video salt. where somebody had adobo oh. seasoning in like a little like. No, they do have little ones. When yes. I went to Belize, one of the girls had uh, Goya adobo in her purse and I was like, okay, ma'am, hit me yeah. up. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's actually pretty good. I just got turned on to that for like meat, grilling meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm make big the Tonys salt. for the pocket. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What? <laughs> I was like, what is Juanita talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. Worcester? Sure. Yes. Oh, where were we? Where were we? Where were Say it with me, people. Where she go, sauce? Worcester? Sure. W sauce. This is so true, Chanel. Worcester? Yeah, Chanel is. um. It just makes she, you She mad. literally has to eat before we go to the restaurant because if she goes there, and the food is not hitting, like it's a, it's not even Chanel no more. It's not even her. You know, I have not her. been that person that has gone to somebody's house and has not liked the food and have ordered myself food because I didn't like the food. Dang. And I felt rude about it for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then I got over it because. <laughs> the and then food I just got over it. Good. Um, not Chanel. As a kid, every time we went to our friend's house, I think they lived on a very tight budget because. They had a big house, but I think they were house poor, you know, and they have all the money in the house. And and they were all skinny little people. And so she would portion out the serving size and she'd give oh. me like one portion. And like, I'd be, I'd still be like, it would be good, but I'd be like, there's no more. I'd be like wanting to cry. And be like, when can I get home to eat more food? Because it was like, I'm just used to like my, you know, a full portion, you know what I mean? We would yeah. eat. Yes. At home, like a full bowl or a full plate, or we would have seconds available in this family. Yes. Oh, no seconds. The first time I went to a <laughs> fancy restaurant with my mom, I was shocked because they do give you small little portions, especially if they have like a it depends five on the or fancy, six cores. Mm -mm. Some of them are like, they give you like, it's like you just have enough to yes, have Yes, like it's for bite. show. Yeah, it's for oh, especially show, if there's like multiple courses. Yeah. yeah, but that still doesn't work for me because I'm like, mm -hmm. I I need food. We need to eat. Yeah, we need to eat. I'm I can't hungry. Eat. I'm like, can I? Can we go get a snack? My mom's like, we just ate. We just ate a five course meal. And you're still hungry. But I'm still hungry. <laughs> it's a problem. Um, oh my gosh! All right, what we got? Okay. Was that our serious? That was the spicy <laughs> conversation. 
the French places are good. Mm -hmm. The French places, but the are French good. places are good because even if they give you a smaller portion, the French know how to cook. So that thing's got so much fat in it; yeah. it's gonna fill you up. Yeah. It's gonna make you feel real good. Only I didn't. I stopped liking them when I found out what escargot was. Oh Why? yeah, isn't that the uh, is that the snails. Snails. snails? Snails. Oh, those are so good. I've had them. Escargot so is. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Yes, it was good, but it had you gotta like, have like garlic like, butter and just. It still had a. It still had a, the taste. Of, it was Where like are they the getting little, these snails from? The aftertaste of dirt. Know. That's butter. what threw me off. Yes. Yeah. You Man, gotta... butter is one thing that I be staying stocked Listen. in my house. You yeah. know how as you get older, the the, there, there are things that you just start to like put your money in. You're like, I might buy the cheap chicken, but I'm yep. gonna buy the good whatever. The butter. Yep. Butter. I, that's it. I'm just talking with Carrie Gold now. <laughs> I will go to Costco and I will buy the whole giant packs. I don't care if it's fifteen dollars. I will buy it. Mm -hmm. It'll go in my freezer until I need it. I love it. Okay, what's the most exotic food y'all have eaten? Blue cheese ice cream. Oh. Alligator. You've eaten alligator? Okay, alligator's good. I have good. eaten alligator. It tastes just like chicken. I, I mean, it old, does. Like, it's so legs. good. Oh, so I was going to say, have you had frog legs? I've had frog legs. Yeah, I've, I've had frog like legs rabbit. and escargot. Yeah. I've had like for, like all the French things, but I feel like alligators Ooh, crazier. Wait, I know I said blue cheese ice cream only because I literally was that. Yes, <laughs> somebody made blue cheese ice cream, and mm, but I had this macaron. It was so good. It had first first of all the macaron like you bit into it and it just like melted, but it had this duck liver pate in it, like oh. foie gras pate, mm -hmm. just like a little sliver of it. And I thought I would a, hate it. In a macaron? In a macaron, but it was I've, so good. Wait a minute. It was so good. So it wasn't sweet, it was savory. It was savory. You okay. know what? I had a, I was, my friend threw a birthday party when she was like 15 or 16, and it was at a, Moro oh. a Moroccan restaurant. <laughs> Have y'all ever had Moroccan you know food? Non-craft mac done and cheese? <laughs> So like the baked mac and cheese, like for no, Thanksgiving, like the, like, just anything that's like, not like, craft oh, mac and cheese, yeah, no, like Velveeta mac and cheese. Yeah, like it's so different. It's like exotic. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! Yeah, let us know in the comments, y'all, what your crazy cheese. foods are. <laughs> I don't think I've had anything crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think because I've had a lot of different <laughs> foods. Um. Oh, so when I for my thirtieth birthday we went to Curacao. We had iguana soup. That Whoa. was a thing because they have like iguanas out there. Like we have squirrels, so they Very yeah. Wow, yes. it was delicious. A lot of lots of bones, alligator in the delicious. in the chat. What did lots it taste like? Um, alligator. <laughs> I mean, it. You know what? I grew I'm not going to say it tastes like chicken, but Chanel. you could. It has like the same bite, a little bit more chewy. I definitely, I grew up on some Vienna sausages as well. Not yes. sardines. We had uh, yes. smoked oysters in a can. Ooh, that was my dad's yeah, thing. like the tin, like the peel away tin. Yes. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. I, um, Vienna sausages are like a core, like childhood memory to the yeah. point when I'm feeling nostalgic, I will go buy Vienna oh, yeah, no. sausages. I've never had but now they're terrible. Anymore. Now they're, they're terrible. disgusting. They stink. I will still eat them. They're so bad. I'll still eat sardines, but I won't eat a Vienna it's sausage. Like, it's just a bite of chocolate. Yeah, I like sardines because it's like a smoked oyster and tuna, and you mix it together, and that's a sardine. Mm -hmm. I think the weird, yeah. like, I was a, I don't know. I just always had, like, just not a lot of unusual prepackaged foods. I know a lot of other countries, they eat a lot of variety of things. I say bologna. Bologna is probably the weirdest. I mean, <laughs> my dad grew up, he made his crawfish etouffee. We had like two different Thai pork dishes that he would make on routine, like on the regular. And, oh, there was a third one. Oh, Filipino adobo, which is very different than That's Mexican adobo. That's very good. I love Filipino adobo. Filipino adobo. It is it was delicious. Like, yeah, those were like Set the routine. Delicious. Soy sauce. Yeah, like... soy sauce. Mm, it was good. It was real good. Yep. Growing up in my house, like a staple that I remember when I was a kid living with my birth mom was fried bologna. Yes, fried, fried bologna is real good. But jambalaya was like I remember like when she would be making it, and I remember like being so excited, like yes, jambalaya. But then when I was <gasps> adopted, my mom, my I know I was like I'm shocked. <laughs> Possum? So, so Turner Country Country <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Chanel, roadkill. <laughs> Why you say it? Mm, like it's good. Yeah, liver. Liver is a delicacy. I've it's had it once. Day. 
It's a delicacy. <laughs> I've had it once okay, um, it as Liver a child. Liver possum? Liver. <laughs> <laughs> We not talking about possum because them, you know how you there's certain animals you just don't eat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like rabies. <laughs> but it gives it a size. <laughs> Can I just I need to reenact that because I had to meet. Oh, okay. yeah, chicken feet. <laughs> Turned to me. I hear like, chicken feet makes good liver. Uh, good yes, broth. chicken feet, Tasha. Mm-hmm. Chicken feet. See, yeah, I can get behind cow, cow tongue. Cow I can get yes. behind lingua. lingua. Yeah. Until yeah. I saw it at a grocery store, and I was like, "I'm never going to eat this again." I know in you guys. Really it was traumatizing. That. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I grew up seeing it at the at the commissary they used to have, which is mm-hmm. you know kids who grew up on base. You would see like the different meats <laughs> in the meat section, and I grew up <laughs> used to like I used to touch them <laughs> as a kid because. That that reminds me of my first time <laughs> visiting an Asian market when oh, you actually got to see yeah. things yeah. and it's like mm. dead things in its full form. Mm. <laughs> it's broken down. That kind of scarred when me for life see a little that? bit. Like, mm. see, those are the places I want to go to because you know it's fresh. Just no, go to I know. H Mart. Yeah, H Mart mm. or the, what's that? The World uh, World Market or yeah, something no, like that. It's uh, in Woodbridge. I've seen it. Okay. Like random cats. The H mark is the Asian pig tails stuff. and yeah. pig ears. Cat. Why are cats. Eaten? No, you cannot have Nemo eaten cats. Has cow eaten oyster. No. Cat? What's nope. a cow oyster? Mm. I think she's oysters. Wait, what's a cow oyster? Paris. Oh. I think maybe. No, <laughs> Miss Tony. For real? Listen, bull is bull is a delicacy. I know I that's heard, a delicacy. Is that but, what she's talking about? I mean, it okay. might it all it might also mean <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's two things that I've heard referred to as oysters in the organ in the body, and that's the main one. Okay. There is another version of it. I just can't remember what it is. It's like an organ or something. I don't know. Um not so good. I've had tuna tartar. Mm. Tartar is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was meat raw fish. It sure Miss, was. Miss Tony. It sure Miss was. Miss <laughs> Tony. Miss Tony. One or two. <laughs> I have oh, is it a full plate? <laughs> how many? How big? And where? <laughs> what type of what? sauce did they use? I have actual <laughs> questions. Yeah, chitlins. You know what? That's yeah. like a <laughs> <laughs> that's a staple. That was a staple in our house. Like Thanksgiving, Christmas chitlins with some hot sauce and some vinegar, baby. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I can't trust chitlins. Like I it remember really depends. You gotta being know tricked into them. eating them. Oh, and you didn't like it. I did because they the whole house stunk. They stunk. My bowl stunk. Yeah. It it was stinky. But yeah. you know what? Collard greens be like that too, and they're worth it. Mm hmm. Yeah, collard greens but you gotta, no, I, I but, agree with you. You gotta know who's cooking them because you gotta know who's cleaning them mm-hmm. and how clean. Very yes. Different okay, yeah. so <laughs> I have a question. I have an answer. I grew up under the if your kitchen isn't clean, I don't eat in your house. Like, I don't eat your food. Is that something you grew up in? Is that something like no. a rule you hold? I can want so to clean I will say, clean them. my mom has always taught me we can't cook until we clean the kitchen. First. We can't cook in a dirty kitchen. Amen. So, yeah. That's fair. But like, so, but like in the in the real life, every day, is it like? Because for me, I'm the no, same way. Most like, of I want to, I want to no. clean up. Like, I want to clean up, just like getting the stuff out of the way. But I'm not like gonna clean up and like break out the big cleaning products and everything just to then clean it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll mm-hmm. clean everything up and wiping down and clean all my pans and everything. But. So. W- I cook Caleb breakfast every morning. He mm-hmm. gets a hot breakfast every morning. He's spoiled. Um, <laughs> I can't say I do that every morning. Like, there's still going to be some stuff around. But if I am making a large dinner mm-hmm. or, you know, I just I have to make sure that part of the kitchen is clean before I start cooking. Because it's like, there's so much stuff everywhere. I can't do what I need mm-hmm. to do. And I will. I, I mean, will like, uh, like, a basic, like, like. I feel like that's reasonable. Like if you're making yeah. your son or yourself food, like you know what your mess is. But mm-hmm. if you're feeding other people and you're having people come over. Yeah, when people are coming over, oh, especially that's for dinner, yes. That's what I was like. And when you, you know, have children, oh, yeah, yes, different. Chanel, when you have children, it's hard. Like because they eat all day. Like you just ate and you want another snack. So it's like, you know. It's a struggle. 
-hmm. It is a struggle keeping these kids now, out of the I pantry. I have a, uh, an adult child who likes to leave popsicle wrappers. Ooh, ooh, and a, ooh. An adult And popsicle child. sticks everywhere. <laughs> Mm. I got well, you. Boo. Is got it the you. same adult child who likes Velveeta mac and cheese? <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I cook my kids breakfast oh, every morning worst... too. Okay, so it's just a lot. There are two similarities between my house and Janice's house. I used to clean at Janice's house, and I used to pull be back the the uh, couch. And behind the couch would be hundreds of uh, string cheese wrappers. What? Oh my gosh! Yeah, especially Michael. <laughs> Michael, thank God, is not eating the string cheese anymore. But he would the, eat. They just shove them down the couch. Yeah, they would shove them in the couch or drop them behind. Like Zeke was dropping oh, yeah, them behind. Drop them. And so the I, kid doesn't I know have, what a trash can but is. I have the same problem at my house. Only I don't have any small children who eat. See, whenever they do that, though, like they hate when TT Paris so comes over between, because I will be like, if y'all don't clean this up. Your Between mama's not your maid. You better clean this up. Pick up your mess. I roll up, um, come in. Can I tell you? Can I tell you the TT effect that has happened in my house? Because there may or may not be some food trauma in TT's past. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, y'all spoiled and you are going to understand it when she comes over oh, to my yeah. house. So she was I gone. I make sure they say thank you. Yep. You better thank your mama for giving you that food because they like to do this. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry, but I don't want that. I don't. Eh. I'm like, if you don't eat that food and say thank you, <laughs> you know, you. It, we, that's because we grew up in an age where what I cook is what you're going to eat. But I will say, like even this weekend, I cooked dinner for me and some friends, and then I cooked dinner for Caleb. One, it was an allergy, so he couldn't do that. But I will do it. I will make sure my son eats something that he loves to eat. I'm not about to do that to him. See, well, you're a strong he woman. is your one and only right now. Yeah. She's got if I had, six of them. Yeah, I'm they about to eat what I'm making. Different. I'll tell you, y'all can eat some ramen. Because that's the We're thing that happened is you got six different orders. Yeah, like. orders? <laughs> like, this is the restaurant. Not in this house. Let me tell you what. I'll be, okay. a short order. I'll be a short order cook, but I'm making the same thing eight times. That's And it's flying off the griddle, and you get it. Mm -hmm. That's what you eat. Yeah, no, but uh, we were all circling around the table one night, and uh, it was like a moment of quiet. And then Mr. Ezekiel, my oldest child, walks around, and he goes, now did anyone thank mom for making yeah. this dinner? <laughs> like, that, that is, is the TT effect. Coming yes. right out of that boy. This is why you got to have your quesadillas. aunties. Yes, that is their, like, if they don't want to eat what I make, <laughs> then they can slap some peanut butter on a tortilla, which is gross in my opinion, but they like it. And that's what they can make themselves. And they, but they do it themselves. I'm not making it for you. <laughs> um, just a comment on my husband. My husband leaves the wrappers wherever he randomly left them. And then the cat plays with them after the fact. Rachel, blame him, Paul, for your cat's mess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I literally, like, I put it down for a minute. I'm like, I don't want to get it. Now, Paul has, I'm going to out him. He has a popsicle addiction, but he gets the sugar-free sugar popsicles. So he feels like he can eat oh, 30 of fine. them in one go. Thank you. That's fine. Um, and so, Bill, not going to raise. How are you? Three kids <laughs> with three different orders. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about they that? Make their food. Oh, they make it. Mean. She's very good at cooking stuff, and then they also help with making the food as well. There you go. So, okay, you know? that's nice. But Tasha is she's she's strong. She's strong, mama. Even with my my mama, who I love her, but it was still a you're gonna. I could not. I like it. There are plenty of things my mom will make that I'm not a fan of. Like she likes a lot of Mediterranean israeli type food so like there's a was this dish with olives and artichoke hearts mm. and baked chicken sounds good and i'm sure it is um i'm not a <laughs> fan of that <laughs> she loves eggplant too all eggplant everything she loves okay. eggplant i cannot do, do it do not like I'm i can't i can't do eggplant but there are plenty of times where it would be a uh yes ma'am you're gonna eat it because i made it or you could just go to bed. So you don't like eggplant at all? Mm -mm. I got mm -hmm. you. Because I, I kind of turn people a little bit. So I'm going to make something eggplant. And she's going to come back. And she I like the deep fried it. eggplant. Yes. It's crispy. Mm -hmm. Eggplant mm -hmm. parmesan. It's so good. Okay, how do you make it? Because my mom literally cuts an eggplant <laughs> in half and then puts tomato sauce. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. Already, she know. already messed up. See, you no. gotta, you gotta salt that thing. You gotta salt it. Yeah. The water needs to come out of the eggplant, and then you dredge it, fry it, and then you put it in like a lasagna form. Mm -hmm. I got you, boo. Yes. 
Tasha, yeah. I'm with you though. I got six kids. Three of them are at school right now. I'm homeschooling one of them, but my other two are almost two and like three and a half. I'm in that, or oh gosh, she's going to be four soon. I'm in that kitchen all day. If I'm not in front of this computer, I'm down in that kitchen. Feels like five times a Wait, day. Wait, you it's don't terrible. like apricot gin? I cannot stand it. Eggplant and raisins, I will eat out of politeness. I will not eat an apricot or anything with apricot. Those are kind of really? nasty. Yeah. What? Well, I've had a dried one. And I, didn't like I can't it. even do that. Oh, I it's love nasty. apricots. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah. See, there's. Not I, a fruit I will say in the that is literally the like. only food that I will refuse to eat. Of all the foods I've had in my whole life, trying them, that's the only one I like. I'm like, I don't care if the president's serving it to me. I'm be like, nope. Mm -mm. What if Jesus was like, don't do that? He, would, he wouldn't. <laughs> he wouldn't because he knows me. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. Don't <laughs> do that. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> mm -mm. The Lord you is really good. love me, Jimmy. Eat this up for God. Oh Lord. Yeah. I'll give you a hug instead. Listen, Ashley. Caleb is actually in the kitchen cooking too, so you can pray for her. But Caleb got her. He gonna be cooking for her. That's good. Yes, he. he I'm teaching him. Can we do yes. a trivia game? Because I'm Let's so excited. I made Let's them. Let's do it. Okay. Also, Aurelia, how do you feel about They're improv really breach? Listen, numbers. I'm scared. <laughs> we wanted to test the waters. Just want to test I'm the scared. Waters. I can so try, but I might be like, like have you gone to church? Like and not Check. Numbers. Yes. <laughs> have you heard preachers uh, preach? Copying. Check. Yes. You okay. can do it. You can can you talk? Yes. You can do it. I'm scared. Okay, yeah. so I have two games. Okay. Um, we can do Guess the Bible Story based off of emojis. Oh. That one. Okay. Or that Guess one. the Bible I'm Book. I'm it up. Okay, never mind. Paul chose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're, Paris, you're going to have to tell us. Yeah, so I know I since I made them, you guys can no, just guess. No, but I mean, you're going to have to tell us whose turn it is to guess. Or are oh, we just okay. like, open free oh. for all? Can I put the first one up? Free for yeah, all. Yeah, go ahead and put the first one up. Man, so, he has on his head 10 clock a ram blood. This is awesome game. Well done. Well done. Whose turn I, is it? Rachel. Uh, okay. <laughs> is, I, I mean, I, because of the ram and the, I don't know, the ram. Makes me want to think about Abraham mm -hmm. taking Isaac up the mountain. I was thinking that too, but but at the same time, but think of the number and like the time. I'm thinking Moses because of the Ten Commandments. You know his time. He had you know they had the just put the paint the the blood painted on the door frames and stuff. So, but what's mm. the guy with the hand on his head? It's like a he's like given like a. It was supposed to listen. There are limited emojis, like an ex <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, like he's like, <laughs> like he's like lifting his hands up, giving like you guys gotta do this. Oh, because they do wasn't this. listening. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, so it's the Ten Commandments. It's the well, it's the the blood on the post of the okay. doorways. Okay, because oh, it's the ten, the ten ten plagues. Oh. Ten plagues. Oh, oh, I said the commandments because you know he had the tablets. Mm. I see. Okay. Yes. yes. But so, you know, you know. <laughs> Jacob says well, Isaac's really time was up. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one, Paul. All right. Who's this? Is this uh, Jenny? Why don't you try to guess this one? The Eiffel Tower. I like it has a question face in it, which is yeah, I love that. Maybe it's a lighthouse. <laughs> My God. Oh, Tower of Babel. Yes. Okay. Hey. I wouldn't have gotten that one. I thought it was that was uh, the Holy Spirit. It was Solomon. Just like, Cause you know he built, you know. Mm -hmm. But okay. All right. Yes, it will be Passover. So. Oh, that was easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my man's David. David, the sexy lady. Yeah, because baby, you was you was looking when you wasn't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> you was looking. <laughs> my God, my God. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who's doing this one? Come on. Richie. Is it my turn again? Yeah. You got this. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I know this one. Good. What I'm is that one? Say it. It's what? The no. You don't know. <laughs> 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 no, it's the wedding in Cana where Jesus yeah. turned the water into wine. Yeah, okay. Hallelujah. 
There's a, Jesus. Ooh. Now this one's a little hard. Whoa. You gotta think. This about is it. Jesus tempting a uh, devil tempting. Oh Jesus my God! I know that's right. You better know your Bible, that girl. That was the Holy Spirit. Because I was still in thought. Like right? what? You made it easy with the Okay, but how did you guess it so right. quick? That's what I want to know. I'm actually pretty good Holy at like Spirit. dictionary type of stuff. Okay. Get it? Because it's like the devil being like tee hee hee. And yeah, he and he was like nah, and, and he was like, like nah. oh darn it. And Jesus and was like, like bye, bye boo. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the kissy face for? Like just like with the like the bye, like you know. Okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, this is a good one. Okay, I like really, it. you should get this. One. I'm yes. Is that um. Jonah. Yes. Because he got swallowed by the whale. He tried to go to Tarshish instead of going to Nineveh. And they was, well, in Veggie Tales, they were slapping people with the fish. <laughs> 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 Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all yeah, got kids. I love <laughs> yes. We watched okay. Veggie Tales as kids. I know there's a delay on like when we're actually saying this by the time it gets to YouTube, there's like a six second delay. So Jacob, as soon as it hit the screen, Jacob's over here like, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Yelling. even see it. You cheated. Oh, okay. Okay. Next. Like the ninja. ninja. Okay. Ooh, is, oh, is it? I don't know whose turn it is. Oh, I know what this one is. What is Go it? ahead, Aurelia. If Aurelia, yeah. if she's yeah, yeah, I don't, if you guys I don't, know, I, I guess. Really don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, maybe. It's Paris's favorite story. It is, it is my favorite story. It has to do with a... What? And the side of someone's head. Go ahead, Paris. Oh, Who the story? Deborah. Not Deborah. Was it Deborah? It was in the same story with a girl. It's in Judges. J J JL. JL. And she... That's the, my okay. girl. <laughs> it's in the same story. Okay. JL She took is care of girl. things. Yeah, so it's like no. a girl mm -hmm. with like a dude and he's like, come into my tent. And then he's like, Psh! and then she's like, that's on period. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what's so funny? She, I feel like she would have run in the same camp as the chick that's on the flag of the state of Virginia. You know, mm -hmm. who's like, have you seen the state, the state flag of Virginia? It's like a warrior woman. And she's like standing over some dude killing him with like a spike. Oh, oh I didn't know that's like what that was. Six Semper Tyrannis is like death to tyrants or like. Oh, like well, there I gotta you go. Zoom in she's she's intense. The... Okay. But, yeah, we got one more. We got one more. All right. Okay. One more. Samson. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did I didn't want to say the, it. the in the water. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I gonna tell me if I'm right. Right. <laughs> right. I didn't even know that was a uh, emoji. <laughs> Come through emojis. So it's like he's like, I'm so strong, and then she put the moves on him, and then they the were moves like, <laughs> that is hair, and he's like, <laughs> you know, I never get that. Like, bruh, she was showing you who she was, and you still gave her the answer. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. really? What? Let's be nice to the table. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. Uh, now, just to let y'all know, these emojis are direct quotes from the PIV version. Like, when you open it up, all it's it is is that it's, it's all emojis. emojis. Like hieroglyphs. I could totally do a quick little PIV, PIV on Samson. So, oh, Aurelia. Aurelia. PIV is the Paris-inspired oh, version. Oh, okay. So it's when Paris gives her... Uh, My version of Bible stories and how I read them. Okay. <laughs> and then the first one was really funny because I was convinced that I was... I knew... I would read it. I knew the Bible story, and then Pastor Dan was, no, no, that's not what happened. You got it all mixed up. You got it all wrong. And I was like, but it says so right in the Bible. He was lying. Oh, okay, never mind. She, said, and she had totally missed the point that the guy lied. Like, he's giving this whole story, and Paris is like, yeah, but he said it like it was the truth. And like, no, he was lying. The whole point was he was lying. <laughs> And Paris is like, but why doesn't it say that? Yeah, why doesn't it say that? that? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Context. It's context, context, context. People. context. It's so good. Context clues. Yeah. It's so good. So they expanded. Feel... So now we do silly versions of Bible stories. Um, that's one of our, our spiels. But... Yes. What? So like in the comments, since it's requested, Jacob, Jacob stays requesting the PIV. He sure does. I bet you he requested the PIV even last week when I was sick. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he just his go to is PIV we, we exclamation point the, we exclamation had to give him the point. Version. All right, yeah. somebody put in the comments a quick little by. Oh, okay, that was fast. Yep, Dang. Daniel in the lion's den. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Highlight, highlight Paris, Paul. Bring her up. 
cool, right. cool, cool. Bring your hop. Get in, get into your improv. So, <laughs> improv. Oh, you want me? You, to get you in know character? your actor, your actress. And scene. Prepared. And scene. Okay, go. <laughs> Not the High School Musical. And <laughs> 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 scene. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so what had happened was is there was this dude named Nebuchadnezzar, uh, which is not the ship from the Matrix. It's a lie. He was a king back in the Bible days. And in the Old Testament Bible days, BT dubs. And um, Nebuchadnezzar was, he had people whispering in his ear. He, you know, yapping like, hey, you're king. You should do this. And Nebuchadnezzar was like, yeah, I am king. By the way, because I'm king, Anybody who doesn't fall down and worship my God, they gonna die. And Daniel was like, hey, we buddies, but I'm not gonna bow down to your God because there's one God only and I'm loyal to him, so tough luck. And somebody was whispering and was like, you just gonna let Daniel get away with that? He's always been your favorite. How could you let him do that? And Nebuchadnezzar was like, chill chill okay this is what i'm gonna do i have a a perfect plan they're like yeah do something nebuchadnezzar was like okay daniel because you're not listening i'm gonna throw you in the lion's den something like that (laughs) (laughs) he was tricked he was tricked into creating a very strict punishment anyways so then daniel gets thrown into the lion's den and as veggie tales teaches us um larry the no sorry daniel (laughs) was in the lion's den and was not cowering, uh, unlike, I mean, like, if y'all had ever been in the lion's den, y'all would be like, Lord, it's your quarter, mama, mama, please, kitty, kitty, don't eat me. But Daniel was, Daniel was built different. So Daniel was all like, Lord, please don't let these lions eat me because you are great and wonderful and merciful and I love you so much. P.S., tell them I don't taste good. And so then Lord was like, I got you. And sent an angel down and held the mouth, the lion's mouth shut like this. It was like, you can't eat Daniel. Bad kitty. And Bad. then. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Um, Not Alexander <laughs> Gunn. <laughs> and then a while later, they're all expecting Daniel to be dead. Nebuchadnezzar was like, I'm about to go collect some bones. And then he gets there and Daniel's like. Surprise! They didn't eat me. He was actually probably chilling with the lions too, like petting them. Like, this one's Nairobi. <laughs> this one's Simba. I named this one Mufasa. And then that's what. Every time he said, Mufasa. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Mufasa. <laughs> and and never. Wow! <laughs> it wasn't me. Oh, no. Paul. That story Paul was so rocking new. that it created an earthquake. Um, flashback to our story from last week when we did Paul and Silas in the prison cell with the earthquake. It visited us this week. <laughs> uh, we have a technical difficulty, folks. Just hang tight while Paris makes funny faces. <laughs> Paris, your face. We didn't break the internet, but we broke the camera. Okay, the camera. Okay, it holds for us for tonight. Stay. Now's a good time to mention that you can scan that QR code at the top of the screen right there. You can donate to the ministry so we can buy a proper camera and stand for Miss Ferris. It's also in the description box below if you're on your phone. There's a link. I think it's fine. Stop touching it. I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Thank Paul. Thank you, Tech Man, for helping Thanks. us out. Appreciate you. Wait, Anyways. Paul should have a Tech Man theme song. So that's what happened to Daniel in the Lions Den. Or up, something like that. Again, bing, bing, yes. pow. <laughs> also, if you guys enjoy the PIV um, and don't want to see me fall like the camera just did, y'all need to hit the QR code that's up here. And down there up here and down there and support our ministry monetarily monetarily Uh, we are a registered 501 c3 which means that you get a little tax something something uh when you donate to our ministry so something something if you like tax write-offs 
and or deductions. It's a something. All the things. And uh, you like me having equipment <laughs> to do the PIV. <laughs> Consider donating. uninterrupted. Uninterrupted. <laughs> Uh, uh, praise I the Lord. love it. Praise the Lord. I love All it. All right, well, we're at nine forty-two, so we are into overtime. So it's we need to be judicious with our last few minutes here. We sure do. Aurelia, how are you feeling? What you thinking? You have any <laughs> uh, uh, comments? Things? Um, do you have a preference on what we should do? Should we wrap up the show? Should we do a little Bible scramble or some improv preach? What you think? What's Bible scramble? It so, is books of the Bible that I scrambled up, and you basically get to guess what they are. Like literally a like a letter, <laughs> like a letter scramble. Like Paris oh, created okay. like little letter scrambles. They're fun. Paul, put it up. <laughs> Paris Paul, like, put it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Proverbs. come on. Proverbs. Paris is like, this is Exodus. Exodus. Ephesians. Ephesians. Uh, Esther? Esther. Oh, nice. Numbers. Numbers. Exodus. Romans. 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 Philippians. 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 <laughs> the Philippines. Obadiah. Good job. <laughs> I must have a deficiency I'm in my brain. I'm upset because like, y'all got those way too fast. Well, we I all thought... have the books of Bible memorized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I thought some of those y'all would have like. Okay. If you had Holy a Spirit sentence, gives wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Next time, Paris, do mm -hmm. a phrase and scramble the word. Like scramble each word in the phrase. Girl, that'll make it harder. Like Girl, a Bible scripture. Okay, oh, yeah. I'm gonna try it. Scrambled scriptures. Scrambled scriptures. Well, <laughs> hey. We don't have that, but that would be hard. hard. That would be worth the challenge. Well, you know what? If you stick it to like. You know, ones that you hear often, then I see that could work. Like enough. Jesus wept. That would be easy. <laughs> <That'll be easy. laughs> wept Jesus? <laughs> and why did he weep, Rachel? Because he was sad. Why was he sad? Because, because his, his friend, friend died. Done died. Mm -hmm. That's how you know we know our Bible. And which friend died? Lazarus. <laughs> but then he said, Lazarus. Yeah, I'll beat me too. And then what happened? Sweet, he raised him from the dead. Hmm? He raised him from the dead. Amen. Y'all be ready. He told them to put some new clothes on him. Okay. Yeah. Take said, unwrap him. Mm -hmm. Unwrap him. <laughs> unwrap him. <laughs> take off them clothes. Put yep. on new ones. All yep. right. Yep. How about this? We're going to do, as we wrap up the show, Jacob, get in the chat here and give us four emojis that Rachel has to work into an improv preach. And then okay. we can close out. I want Aurelia to do an improv preach. Yes, we have to do Aurelia, but we have to give it. <laughs> and then Jacob, cue up one for Aurelia. That's so like Rachel nice, can give like you a three an example. One. Okay, I've seen it and it looks hard. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared too. <laughs> so the first one, Jacob, is four Paul, emojis for Rachel and then Paul three emojis for Aurelia because we're nice to her. Oh. Yeah, I guess you so you have to incorporate each emoji into or, the... Yeah, or at least like the word, words, the word yeah. that the emoji is. Okay. So, they're coming. I can do. All right, so you have a dude with a party hat on, a guy who's fencing. What is that, a coconut drink and an owl? <laughs> yes, birthday, oh, fencer, Lord. coconut drink, oh, owl. Birthday. Are you going, Rachel? You're going? Yes, Rachel's Rachel. Going. Take it. So, Paul, <laughs> maybe we can pin the comment with the emojis so sure. people know what we're referencing. Uh, how am I going to do this? Right. You can do it. I don't know how, but you, you can, can do, do it. it. You can do it. You can do it. Um, I can maybe tell a silly story. I don't know why yeah, I'm That's what I was going to say. You can tell a story. <laughs> It's right. giving Jesus. <laughs> Come on, AT's hyping you up, Rachel. Let's go. <laughs> Let's <Okay>. go. <sighs> Remember, it's preaching, not an infomercial. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're preaching. Okay, we're Lord, preaching. Lord, 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 Lord. Okay, it's been so long since we've done it. Um, yeah, we... <laughs> there we go. See, Ashley giving you. Uh... Dearly beloved. <laughs> Dearly beloved. We are gathered here today. 
because I am going to confront a sacred cow in your life. Mm. The sacred cow is those fantasy novels that you've been reading. The ones you get on your birthday. Mm -hmm. That your auntie bought you. Them wizards and wizardries with all the mowels. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. We can't be doing no Harry Potter up in this house. Mm -hmm. Not in God's house. <laughs> I know you like to take those those books on vacation with you. You get you on the beach drinking those pina colada, you know, coconut drinks. Uh-uh. You should have the word of God in your hands with you always. You have that Bible. Put down Harry Potter. Get yourself that Bible. You read that Bible on vacation because it's the daily word of God that you need it. It is the thing that you need to fence against the devil. It is your defense. It's I your sword. It. You take that sword Hun, of the word and you fence against the devil. That's how you get victory in your life. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. That was good. That was oh, good. You it made it work. <laughs> it made it work. Oh, okay. I can't see. It's like, but okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a really southern that bastard. Is, that is, like, I know. You know what? So bad. Yeah, the hard it's thing so is, bad. is we can't do anything improv without turning we southern. Can't. We don't know we how to do it. Okay, it's not possible. Our brains just do it. Just do it. <laughs> that that look hard, girl. I don't know if I'm be able to do this. But okay, okay do Jacob, a, be nice. Do what three, Ashley three said. Emojis. A deliverance story of how she should have responded when an owl invaded her backyard. That's a good one. <laughs> Listen, owls are Up not all out. bad. Owls are not. Who all are bad. you? Huh? Uh, huh? Who? Go who, back down. I would say, who <laughs> are you? <laughs> who? Who? <laughs> all right, that was a hard one, but I pulled it off. You, you did. Yes, you did. And you did it. You did it. All right, Paul, bring us back to four. And <laughs> Jacob, I'm waiting for three emojis, sir. We need Don't some make difficult them. emojis. Don't make it hard. Make as, it as, easy. as this throw some in an owl. Uh, seafood in there, like a throw crab some seafood or... in there. <laughs> All right, what do we I have don't here? I don't know what that is. We okay. got a, a microphone at the end, like a rib or some piece of meat in the middle. What's the first one? A lion? A lion. So, lion, meat, a microphone. microphone. Come on. <laughs> you can do it, Aurelia. Lion, meat, and microphone. See, Daniel could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Preach a sermon on Daniel. <laughs> Tell us about Daniel and throw in them words. Dang, I don't know how to like really get into character. But okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Daily below. That'd be Pagani. <laughs> That's what <he> works. <laughs> okay. We can help you out with I don't know. I have like a scripture in my head, but I don't Pre know, guys. Preach okay. It. Preach it. Yeah. But I'm not a preacher. Okay. I've, I've podcast it. Preach. Teach it. Oh, podcast I can it. podcast it. Podcast I do that it. all the time. Podcast. Yes, podcast okay. It. I can podcast it. <laughs> okay. So, boom. Let me tell you guys. You better go ahead and get your cups because I got all the tea. Let me tell you about what happened with this lion, y'all. This dude was lying to me. <laughs> Let me tell you, every word out of his mouth was a whole lie. I was like, I know you lying. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Perfect. But, but anyways, he tried to take me to dinner. And I was like... Um, we're not doing salads over here. We're doing chicken wings, okay? <laughs> Make sure extra ranch, extra ranch. And you know what th the best wings are? <laughs> wing Stop, okay? Wing Stop <laughs> has the best wings. But anyways, he was just looking at me like I was crazy because I was just, you know, and, you know, but I did offer him some. But anyways, um, I don't even know what to do with the mic. But I was like, you know what? You want to be on my podcast? And he was like, mm, I don't know. I was like, well, it's all the shenanigans where we give you all the shenanigans of Amen. my life. Hey, <laughs> that's a good plug. That's a good plug. Here we go. Yes. We did it. We America's did best it. wings. Uh, yes, I like that. I like it, it so much. Miss <laughs> Juanita, is this a request? I want to do one. Let a do puking one. clover. Wow. It looks like a St. Patrick's Day story. And and what, she did some. Oh, St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. Uh, and a grave. Mm. Oh, okay. Can yeah. I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Yeah, you can, can, you do, can it? do it, oh, Paris. Oh, yeah. champagne's in the middle. So clover, <laughs> puke, champagne, <laughs> beer, alcohol. wine, someone a dead face, and a tombstone. Okay, this is real easy. You Bet. can make it watch. Work. Watch. Bet. Bet. See. 
Some of y'all were out here on Sunday, not in church, because you out here celebrating. Y'all done went to the Sunday brunch, got your champagne, done went to the Sunday parade, got some beer, done went to the Sunday dinner, and got your wine. When you done forgot that you need to be drinking the only wine, which is the wine of the covenant. Everybody say covenant. 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 Huh? Of Jesus Christ <laughs> okay. who Hallelujah. died for your sins. So mm-hmm. while you out here drowning in your librations, mm-hmm. you needed to be in the house of God. She said in the house of God. Mm-hmm. In the house of God. Reach. Would St. Patrick be proud of you? No. No, he would not. But it's okay, because some of y'all going to drink yourselves into an early grave. Hey. And then you're going to be standing at the gates wondering, Lord, what happened? And he, <laughs> and he going to be saying, St. Patrick ain't proud of you, and nope. neither am I. No way. <laughs> so next time, instead of going That's out good, Pastor. bar hopping, what? how about y'all be hopping your way into church? Amen. Huh? Amen. Mm-hmm. You better <laughs> preach a word. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, not skip church party. Oh, yeah, wake up tonight. Yes. See, Tasha knows what's up though because America's best wings are the best wings. So we're having just like, there's a moment <laughs> happening. I'm with on the wing stops. Negative. Yes, I love lemon pepper. I do I love wing stop. I do love wing stop. I got nothing against wing stop. I just think America's They're best wings fries. are better. All flats <gasps> or drums. The French fries are so special. You know I what? I know don't this. discriminate. Okay, <laughs> we don't do that. That's right. They all meat taste is good. good in this house. Huh? I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. Say it one more time for me. Meat is good in this house. We okay. got no vegetarians <laughs> in this assembly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pinocchio, a pig, and um. Okay, Tasha said drums. Oh, the Statue of Liberty. Drums. That's all you, Jenny. I got this. I got this. Real easy. You gotta add one thing. Someone, so someone needs to be my organs. Too. Oh, and drums. Yeah. Oh no, she's talking about chicken wings. Paul. Yeah, she's talking about chicken oh, wings. Okay. <laughs> chicken wing drums. Right, we're back to this. Yeah. See, Miss Tony's with me. Paul's a drummer, so his brain went immediately to actual drumming. Yep. Just yes. Quiet. Okay, so we got Pinocchio, <laughs> Pig, <laughs> and a Statue of Liberty. <sighs> you know, I was I was having some time with the Lord. We were talking about these things in our life that seem to have a hold on us. And, you know, a lot of people think we got our bases covered. You know, we're not out here hurting nobody. You know, we're, we're being honest, um, you know, at work. We got a good marriage. Um, you know what? The problem is, is that people out here lying, thinking it's an okay thing. You know, it's just a little white lie. It's not a problem. Um, but here's the deal. You let a small thing in and then it just gets bigger and bigger. And the Lord is here talking to us today about how lying, even if it's a little white lie, you are not little white breaking the Ten Commandments. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole commandment. We are not Mm. supposed to lie. And see what happened was when you start lying, it just opens a little door and it gets a little bit more open and a little bit more open and a little bit more. And you know what happens? the demons come right on in. And you know what happens when the demons come right on in? You get demonized. And listen, we don't have Jesus here with us today to say, hey, go into those pigs. We don't have it. We don't. We, we, that's not that story, okay? Praise the Lord. He is with us. He is with us in, in spirit. But your demons, you got to come out a different way, okay? Now listen, y'all. You got to come out a different way, okay? Jesus is not here going to be casting out, and you're not going to be running over that clip, okay? So what's what we're going to do? What we're going to do today, y'all, we're going to repent, okay? We're going to repent. We're going to say, Lord, I am here for you, Jesus. I have committed my heart afresh today, afresh I have. And we are just going to run. We are going to run to that beacon of the Holy Spirit, like the Statue of Liberty, like all them people coming over to the United States back in the day, saying that is the land of the free, and your freedom is found in Christ alone. Huh? Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. 
You did it. You, you know what? I loved was, me. I was gonna I was gonna suppress the accent, but then he, Paul threw up Americana, <laughs> and then I was like, "Hey, this is now an improv challenge where we have to change. <laughs> we have to change it wherever he throws up on the screen." <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty, 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 mighty God. Well, thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Episode. Thank you, Aurelia. Thank you, Aurelia. For and being I here. Give it up for Aurelia. Oh, in the chat. We hired Aurelia. In the chat. She did. She said, repent. 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 Yeah. Everyone, yeah. get Turn in the comments. Turn from your wicked ways and repent. Get some hand claps and some hearts for our amazing <laughs> Aurelia as the guest. Yay. Yes. Thank you guys for having me. You are. So, we're so happy to oh have you. Oh my God, that's the whole point. We want everybody to have fun. We mm -hmm. have fun. You have fun. The audience has fun. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Aurelia's yeah. got some amazing episodes on her podcast. If they're not down there now, then come back to the channel tomorrow. We are linking her podcasts um, and her IG handles and any of the things Aurelia you want us to put, we'll put down there. All right. We want to hear it. Because there's been some good episodes coming out lately that y'all need to catch up Listen, on. Listen. Yeah. Spilling all the tea. All the tea. <laughs> all true stories. All tea. Okay. All true stories. You can I be like, what? It. Girl, no way. that happened? Mm. You go just like that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, that's the truth aurelia <laughs> have you seen when pagani did the interview with that guy talking about that cult i did not jay actually showed me like a like a snippet but i haven't seen it so i had watched that and i was like i have no idea what this is about and then i heard about your podcast like afterwards and i was like no that's the same one and mm -hmm. i'm like yes yeah, the same one yeah i really that's had crazy. a you got to check in her podcast she had a close call with a sneaky Sneaky. No, I was in it. Christian. Well, I was in it. You got out, though. I got out. That's what I mean by going out of there. That's what I mean by close to mm -hmm. By a sneaky mm -hmm. Christian cult. Listen, you know? mm -hmm. yeah. we love that about Father God. He will snatch you right on yeah. out if you somewhere mm -hmm. where you're not supposed mm -hmm. to. Right out of that lion's den. Come on, yeah. What? Right out of that furnace. Okay. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Praise. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -uh. I we really need to get like a little organ on a stream deck. It's, it's, it's Stop on. it. Stop <laughs> it. We do need some sound effects. Stop it. <laughs> it's so good. Yes, Miss Juanita. Get uh, go to your podcast app and go to, go all, to the all the shenanigans. All the shenanigans. You gotta why it'll be that. the first episode of season three. It's good. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. It's good. Well, yeah. Uh, out of the hand of the fowl. Hallelujah. Yes, well, we hope that you guys enjoyed this week's broadcast of the Christian Anything Show. If you did enjoy it and you enjoy the show, please consider supporting the ministry uh, monetarily by visiting the sevenfold.com. There's a donate button on the top of the screen. Or if you're watching on your TV, you can scan that QR code with your phone. Uh, either one of them. They both work. You can also support us by liking and subscribing and sharing. Yes. If you don't want to throw money our way, you can throw us some likes. <laughs> yes. Comments are great. Yep. They are so great. We would love it. What's the face, Paris? What's the face? Follow us on social media. We're also on Facebook, we're on Facebook and Instagram. You can follow us at The Sevenfold Ministries. And we look forward to talking with you there. Yes. Yes. And if you guys need any prayer, uh, whether that be anonymous prayer or you want us to share it on air on any of our shows or our podcast, you can head to the sevenfold.com forward slash prayer. We do have a prayer request form and you can drop that in there. And we do pray as a ministry every single day. So we will pray for you. And if you want to be on the show or you have a topic that you would like us to discuss, go ahead and send us an email at connect at the sevenfold.com. Also, if you have any of our phone numbers, you can reach out to myself, uh, Jenny, or um, Rachel. <laughs> so, uh, if you think that we don't answer, we definitely do. And you send us something that you're like, let's talk about it. Or I have an idea. We implement it on the show. So Amen. we love to hear from your stuff. In fact, uh, Juanita dropped us something again. And we'll try to incorporate it next week, Juanita. Yes, we shall. Yeah. Yes, we shall. I love those text messages. Can we talk about it? And my first thing is like, yes. Of yes, course we, we can. can. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. We will have that conversation next week. Amen. Right. Thank you, thank Aurelia. You. You're thank welcome. Thank you, Aurelia. Thank you for all you people who tuned in and all the people who are going to watch. We love mm -hmm. you all. Have a wonderful week. God bless. Hold on. Let's just do part 10. Paul, take us out.